Ralph Rangnick broke into a smile as he was asked if Manchester United can win the Champions League, a challenge that resumes when Atletico Madrid come to Old Trafford. This is what I like about this club, chuckled the interim manager. Sunday, I almost felt like we were at a funeral, that it was already dead. I felt like it's the worst team I ever coached, then after a 3-2 win against Tottenham we're discussing our chances to win the Champions League. Ask me the question should we reach the final? Right now, I don't really think it makes sense. So Rangnick gets it, life at Manchester United. Lose to Manchester City and the roof caves in. Beat Tottenham and you can conquer the world. All or nothing. Boom and bust. And nobody encapsulates the wildly fluctuating atmosphere of life on Planet United quite like Cristiano Ronaldo. Dot. While Rangnick was inside trying to calm the hysteria around United and Ronaldo in particular, the man himself was still out on the grass chewing the cud with another sporting goat, Tom Brady. The retired NFL star had risen to his feet, along with the majority of spectators inside Old Trafford, to salute Ronaldo when he was substituted shortly after completing a hat-trick, the 59th of his career, to sink Spurs and keep United's top four hopes intact. Dot, dot. A week after popping off to Portugal with a hip flexor injury, or was that a bruised ego, rather than watch his teammates lose to City, Ronaldo came roaring back in stunning fashion. We will let the statisticians debate where his 807 career goals put him in the FIFA rankings, but his place in the pantheon of football greats is beyond question, a sumptuous 25-yard shot, a close-range conversion and a thumping header, it was some response to the mysterious events of last weekend. Ronaldo does not do things by halves. But isn't that the problem? The opening goal here was only his second in 2022. Many performances have been average at best and Rangnick knows it. Assuming he decides to start the 37-year-old against Atletico little more than three days after he walked off the pitch to a standing ovation, how will Ronaldo follow up his hat-trick heroics? After all, he was abject in the first leg at the Wanda Metropolitano three weeks ago. Rangnick will not think he has solved the Ronaldo conundrum and neither should we. He is a brilliant player but still a headache, 